In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 resorts in Maldives under $200. So, before starting the video please like this video. Do subscribe and turn on the notification to our channel for future updates. Do you have any curiosity about traveling to the Maldives? But don't you think the cost is a little steep? Believe us when we say that you can have a wonderful stay at one of the best resorts in the Maldives for less than $200 per night. Let's dive right in. 10. Rithi Faro Bio Luxury Resort Rithi Faro is a stunning tropical bio luxury for a star resort, and it is ranked as one of the 10 best resorts in the Maldives that cost less than $200 per night. It is famous for having beaches with pure white sand and coral reefs that are covered by an ocean that seems to go on forever. In addition to this, it is also known for the work that it does to protect natural beauty and ecosystems. You will be able to make use of the great guest rooms, which range from family-friendly to romantic hideaways that are perfectly positioned, as well as the facilities, which are available on the island as well as across the lake. Your trip is going to be amazing because there are multiple restaurants for you to choose from, a spa, and a wide variety of water sports to choose from. 9. Santera Ras Fusher Santera Ras Fusher is a four-star adult-only resort that gives a peaceful and delightful vacation for adults. It is ranked as one of the 10 best resorts in the Maldives that cost less than $200 per night. It also provides a wonderful opportunity to unwind and relax at the resort's best facilities, which include a spa as well as a number of different restaurants and bars. It is important not to overlook the world-class diving center that is accessible to guests of this resort. In addition, the amazing lighting that surrounds the pool creates a beautiful nighttime pool scene. This resort is frequented by many young couples who want to spend quality time together because it is one of the most economical places for people to have a good time and enjoy themselves. 8. Nakai Alimitha Resort Because it includes more than a kilometer of white beaches and magnificent turquoise lagoons, Nakai Alimitha is a paradise dream come true in real life. At this resort, there are several vibrant coral reefs, many of which are inhabited by hundreds of different species of fish and corals, and many of which may be seen by guests. Additionally famous for its picture-perfect beaches, breathtaking dive sites, and glistening ocean waters when viewed from above, the island appears to be in the shape of a heart, making it a stunning sight to behold. If you are a fan of aqua life, this location was specifically designed with you in mind. 7. Sun Island Resort and Amp Spa The Sun Island Resort and Amp Spa is the most expansive property of its kind in the Maldives. It is well known for the beautiful beach and lagoon that it has. This resort offers spacious accommodations in the form of bungalows, as well as a diverse selection of activities, including water sports, land sports, spas, and pool bars. You not only enjoy the leisure activities, but you also take part in the recreational activities such as going to the gym, the sauna, the jacuzzi, and the steam room. In general, it is a resort that is easy on the wallet and offers a wide range of activities. 6. Thulhajiri Island Resort the Thulhajiri Island Resort is a quaint and rustic island resort that boasts four stars and a breathtaking beach that overlooks the setting sun. There are beach bungalows and water bungalows available. The vast majority of water bungalows feature canopy beds in addition to direct access to the lagoons. In addition, this resort features an outstanding scuba diving center in addition to a selection of other water activities. This resort, in contrast to others in its category, provides both happy hour deals and nightly entertainment events for guests' amusement. Well, do you like what you are seeing so far? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep watching because you don't want to miss what we have at the number one spot. 5. Bayadhu Island Resort Bayadhu Island is not a new hotel, in fact, it is one of the oldest resorts in the Maldives. Despite its age, however, the resort was on the edge of closing for a number of years due to a significant refurbishment. On the other hand, the natural environment remains very good. One of the reasons why so many people choose to stay at Bayadhu Island Resort is so they may enjoy snorkeling on the resort's very own house reef. The artificial efforts to hold it in place and extend it with a pump have allowed the beaches to move freely all over the island. Dive locations such as Kanduma Thila, which is famous for its enormous schools of fish, Kanduma Caves, which is famous for its soft corals, and the Great Hu Marine Reserve Kandu are among the best places in the region to go scuba diving. 4. Filatheo Island Resort Many travelers consider Filatheo Island Resort to be one of the top hotels in the Maldives. It is undeniably a hidden paradise for anyone who is enthusiastic about scuba diving and snorkeling. Fafu Atoll, home of Filatheo Island Resort, is widely regarded as the Maldives' most pristine atoll thanks to its abundance of thriving marine life and pristine coral reefs. The atoll is the undisputed victor among the most unspoiled atolls in the country. There is a beach with snow-white sand and a fringe of palm trees that is reflected in the turquoise lagoon. 
There is also comfortable accommodation in the depths of dense vegetation and over the water. There is spa, excursions to uninhabited islands, a large choice of activities, and not the least of which is fascinating diving and snorkeling at the house reef. 3. Ariadu Island Resort, North Male Atoll. The resort is small, quiet, and tranquil, and it offers wonderful house reef snorkeling, outstanding diving, and delicious meals all at a price that is affordable. In a nutshell, this is how Smartline Ariadu works. Ariadu Island, which is located in North Male Atoll and is home to a number of well-known dive spots, was one of the first tourist destinations in the Maldives. After more than 30 years, the 76-room resort with a more moderate price point steadily upgraded its decor to earn its designation as a four-star property. There is a great house reef that is not difficult to get to, there is an all-inclusive package that includes activities and water sports, and all of the accommodations have direct access to the beach. These are all positive aspects. However, there is still a lot that might be improved upon, such as providing complimentary water and Wi-Fi in the rooms, improving the buffet's quality and selection, and speeding up the refurbishment process. However, the price is reasonable considering what you receive for it. 2. Malahini Kuta Bandos Resort, North Male Atoll the Malahini Kuta Bandos Resort is located on a small island in the North Male Atoll and provides a Maldivian getaway at an affordable price. The resort features 82 rooms in two categories, a variety of culinary options with two restaurants and a bar, and other facilities such as a spa, gym, and water sports center. It is accessible by taking a short boat ride from the male airport. The resort's sophisticated amenities are complemented with breathtaking beaches with white sand, snorkeling and diving of world-class caliber on the property's house reef, and more. This laid-back island resort is located just 10 minutes from the male airport, and it boasts an affordable luxury as well as a relaxing barefoot atmosphere. Malahini Kuta Bandos, which was formerly the deserted sister island of the Bandos Maldives Resort, has been renovated as a straightforward and calm Maldivian retreat, with loads of new facilities and modern accommodations. 1. Ganjihi Island Resort. It is a small island with a first-class diving school and high-quality accommodations. Ganjihi offers peace and quiet and a great introduction to the Maldives for first-timers. Small and elegant. These are the basics, this place has magic. Ganjihi is blessed. The resort reopened in 2008 after a major renovation that included new beach bungalows, eight overwater deluxe rooms, and the only two-bedroom family garden villa. So, that's it for today's video. What are your thoughts on our video? Please let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification to our channel before you go. Thank you so much for watching.